Now the last layer. You're done with the hardest part, but this is the last layer just to, just to completely finish the whole thing. Just like with the with the three by three, whoop, you want to get your cross up here, and you can see a familiar shape as you're getting the cross. You can have just like a dot, you can have like an L, or you can have a line, but you want to get your cross. And remember, to get that cross, we've already been through the algorithm to do that, and we do it exactly the same way. So I'm going to bring this up here, and I'm solving it exactly the same way, substituting the F with a slight modification so that we can make an F by moving it up to here. So we'll do that, and from here we're going to get a line, and then from there we're going to get the cross. So this is going to be F, R, U, then R prime, U prime, F prime. So here's our line, as promised. Then once again, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And you can see that this side is now, well, it's our cross. I'm not going to say it's solved. It is, but that's not really the point. But we certainly have our cross. Now it's a question of moving these guys in. Now if you notice, this probably looks familiar from previous tutorials. We have a sandwich formation. And we know how to deal with that. We've been through this in other tutorials with the cuboids, right? To deal with the sandwich formation, we do middle swapping. That's our 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, U prime, um, 2R. And by doing that, that'll flip these two, but create a parity here. We do it again, and it'll solve that parity and flip these two as well. If you don't believe me, let's see if it works. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R effectively flipping these middles, swapping these, I shouldn't say flipping, swapping these middles, creating parity here, leaving these two to go. So, same thing. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. And that solves it. So we can make short work of this one doing exactly the same thing. In this case, we have the same L formation. We'll move this here. So we have U, Um, I'm sorry, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. There's our line, same thing. R, U, and bang. So there's our cross. Now, this is a, another type of scenario. Last time everything was moved into position, this one obviously isn't. So we have to flip these back in. Now here's the basic strategy that we're going to be using to do this. This is where it's going to get a little bit more complicated. The basic strategy is we have to think of a way of turning these and rotating them around. This is also something that we've seen before in the 3x3. If you remember, in the 3x3, after getting the cross, we had to move these into position. And we did that by doing an algorithm, which was R, um, it was R, U, R, uh, I'm sorry, R, U, R prime, U, R, to you, R prime, something like that. And we did that to get these into position, but what we didn't realize at that time is it was actually flipping these around, and we're going to be using the same algorithm which is going to flip these around. And it just so happens that the confirmation that we're looking for is exactly this. We're going to be pointing the side that we want flipped up to us, and what that's going to do, uh, what we're looking for is a situation where we have one on the right, one on the back right and one on the back left, which is not in position, and this is in position. So, this is the front right, back right, back left, and this is the um, front left, which is in position. Once we have that, then we do that algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, to U, R prime. And that actually puts all that into position, and then we can continue to solve it the way that we've solved it before. But there's a couple other situations that we need to know um, of other possibilities with um, other confirmations that may happen here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so here's an example of another possible thing that you may see where you just see two that aren't where they're supposed to be. In this, if, if you're in this situation, what you're going to want to do is just hold it over here, hold it like this, and do that same algorithm 
um, that, that you already know on, on the right side. So r u r prime, u r to u r prime. This gives us an interesting cross formation. And what you're going to want to do is as I turn here, a couple of them, two of them, are in a situation where you have the orange facing you. So you can pick any one of those and do the same thing. R. Okay, and what you're looking for is eventually it to get in this position. Three corners not solved. In this case, the uh, corners, uh, this, this should basically put the top in, in the right position because this is facing us. Sometimes you have it where the orange is over here and none of them are facing you. If that happens, just put it in this position, do the algorithm, and the next time it will be in this position so you'll be ripe to do it again and this will be solved. Then we have our familiar middle swapping scenario here, in which case we just do our old friend. All right, so this is good. Now, we, now in this case, we want to swap these two. So we do the opposite middle swapping algorithm, if you remember that, which is going to be, which will also fix this parity, which will be 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, and everything is, is solved. And again, you should be able to apply this to the other fused or Siamese cubes, even the ones that, that are one less layer deep. So there you have it. You can probably see the colors better there.